Now speaking, Mike Cavanaugh, Investor Relations, NanoX Imaging Limited Release Financial Results for Q2 2023. CEO Erez Meltzer and CFO Rand Daniel will host this call. Please note that forward-looking statements will be made, and factors that may cause differences are outlined in our SEC filings. Non-GAAP financial measures will also be discussed, with a reconciliation provided in our press release. Now, over to Erez Meltzer. Now speaking, Erez Meltzer, Chief Executive Officer. Welcome to the Nanox Second Quarter 2023 Earnings Conference Call. We achieved significant advancements across multiple business segments this quarter. We obtained FDA clearance to market the Nanox. ARC in the U.S. and are preparing to establish our presence in the U.S. market. We will install the first unit in an East Coast clinical setting to generate revenues and raise awareness among key opinion leaders. Outpatient facilities have shown interest in adopting the Nanox. ARC for its affordability and advanced imaging capabilities. Our U.S. go-to-market strategy includes customer targeting, building a sales team, and using a hybrid business model. We are strategically engaging segments such as orthopedic clinics, skilled nursing facilities, and urgent care facilities. We are also enhancing our U.S.-based sales and service team and leveraging the USARD network. Our global commercialization efforts are progressing well, particularly in Africa, where we have deployed Nanox. ARC systems in Morocco and Nigeria. We have established a partnership with BioVentures for Global Health to train African healthcare professionals on imaging topics. We have also entered an OEM relationship with the U.S. Government Agency for Security Scanning and Non-Destructive Testing Applications. In terms of manufacturing, we have secured additional chip supply from CHAIM in Switzerland and are developing ceramic and glass-based digital X-ray tubes. We are collaborating with Sconray for Nanox. ARC Systems Assembly at Scale We obtained FDA clearance for the Nanox. ARC and are pursuing the CE mark in the European Union and AMAR clearance in Israel. We have started collecting clinical sample images with the Nanox. ARC system in Israel. Thank you for joining the call, and we look forward to providing further details in the upcoming month. Now speaking, Rand Daniel, Chief Financial Officer. In Q2 2023, we reported a gap net loss of $17.4 million, compared to $19.6 million in Q2 2022. Revenues for Q2 2023 were $2.6 million, with a gross loss of $1.7 million on a gap basis. However, revenues from teleradiology services were $2.5 million, with a gross profit of $0.4 million on a gap basis and $0.9 million on a non-gap basis. This increase in revenue was mainly due to an increase in the number of radiologists engaged in reading during overnight and weekend shifts. Research and development expenses for Q2 2023 were $6.9 million, mainly due to an increase in labor costs for the development of the Nanox. ARC system. Sales and marketing expenses were $0.8 million, and general and administrative expenses were $7.6 million, a decrease of $3.6 million compared to Q2 2022. We have reached an agreement in principle with the SEC to settle the investigation, with estimated civil penalties of approximately $0.7 million. We also made payments to former stockholders of USARD for achieving certain milestones, totaling approximately $0.8 million in cash and 255,392 ordinary shares. As of June 30, 2023, we had cash, cash equivalents, restricted cash, and marketable securities of approximately $80.3 million. We raised $30 million in a registered direct offering on July 26, 2023, which will be used for further development and deployment of our systems. Now speaking, Erez Meltzer, Chief Executive Officer. Thank you for joining us today. We have made significant progress in making medical imaging more accessible globally. Our team has worked hard to bring the ARC system to the commercial market. We are excited to announce that we will be hosting an Investor Day in New York City in September or October 2023. If you are interested in attending, please contact our investor relations partners at ICR Westwick. Operator, please open the call for questions. Cantor Fitzgerald, Analyst Ross Osborne. Inquired, can you provide an update on the daily scan volume of your system in Nigeria? Erez Meltzer replied, yes, you are correct that our operations in Nigeria are currently operating without the necessary approval for conducting scans on patients. We are actively working towards obtaining the final approval from the Nigerian Nuclear Regulatory Authority, NNRA, to conduct scans on humans and obtain human images. Cantor Fitzgerald, Analyst Ross Osborne. Inquired, is Ghana currently using human scans or is that still pending? Erez Meltzer replied, our facility in Morocco is utilizing state-of-the-art technology to conduct human scans, providing a level of imaging quality comparable to that of a fully operational hospital. Cantor Fitzgerald Analyst Ross Osborne inquired, what is the current daily scan volume? Erez Meltzer replied, we currently do not disclose the specific number of scans per day. 
However, we anticipate providing this information in our upcoming investor day or in the next earnings call. This will give you an initial indication of the scans per day across all our installed units. Cantor Fitzgerald Analyst Ross Osborne Inquired, when can we expect more system deliveries to Nigeria, Ghana, and Morocco? Erez Meltzer replied, once we receive the necessary approvals, we will begin implementation within the next two quarters. Cantor Fitzgerald Analyst Ross Osborne Inquired, can you explain the reason for the delay in the opening of the training center in the U.S.? It was originally scheduled for this summer. Erez Meltzer replied, we have received early indications that we will be sending out our first system soon. We are currently awaiting approval for the demo center, but in the meantime, we have made the decision to install the first system in a clinical site and begin commercial operations earlier than originally planned. We already have several clinics willing to install the systems before our full U.S. operation is up and running. This means that within the next few weeks, we will be installing the first system in one of these locations and starting to scan patients and generate revenue. Cantor Fitzgerald Analyst Ross Osborne Inquired, can you provide details on the size of the U.S. contract announced today? Did the OEM sign on for the comprehensive system or are you now selling chips separately? Erez Meltzer replied, we have multiple OEM arrangements and collaborations, including one specifically for chip production. Other arrangements involve both chip and tube components. Additionally, we are currently working on a comprehensive demo, which will include more than just the tube, and plan to conduct testing within the next six months. Cantor Fitzgerald Analyst Ross Osborne Inquired, can you disclose the size of the contract with the U.S. government agency? Leidenberg Thalman and company analyst Destiny Hans inquired, how are you selecting the initial physicians for the demo site? Will the demonstration be conducted in a group setting or on a one-on-one -on -one basis? Erez Meltzer replied, currently, we are experiencing a wide range of interest in our systems, with individuals and delegations visiting to see our operations. We are open to hosting groups of any size to showcase our work. Leidenberg Thalman and company analyst Destiny Hans inquired, can you provide more details about the size and timing of the onboarding of your U.S. sales team, and how this will impact sales and marketing expenses in the future? Erez Meltzer replied, we are currently in the process of building our team for the deployment in the U.S. We will be presenting a more detailed plan, including numbers and further indications, at our investor day in September. By then, we expect to have most of the team ready to begin work, with a planned kickoff in early October. Some team members have already started working in the U.S. You can expect to hear more about this at our Investor Day on September 22nd at the NASDAQ. Leidenberg Thalman and company analyst Destiny Hans inquired, will you create a registry to capture the clinical and real-world data you are collecting? Erez Meltzer replied, yes, we will be showcasing part of the clinical data on our website, in accordance with applicable regulations. We are currently in the process of preparing all the collected clinical data and drafting the paper for release. As we continue with commercial deployment, we will be placing significant emphasis on the clinical aspects of our work. In addition to MSK scans in the U.S., we have also conducted tests and scans on other anatomies such as chest and abdomen in Israel and Morocco. This strategic plan will enhance our ability to provide clinical data and explore future opportunities for intended use. For